Good morning, everybody. It is Monday and it is a very exciting day, right? What are you guys doing today? Soccer! They're doing their soccer camp all week long and I'm so excited. It's been a long time since the kids have been Wait, in soccer. Wait, we're going camping? No, <laughs> you're going to soccer camp, which means that every day you're gonna go and learn how to play soccer. And I don't know if Peter did this when we lived in Wisconsin, but Jane, do you remember uh, playing soccer? Yeah. It was about a month long and every weekend, Jane would go into the high school gym and oh learn God. a little bit of a oh, soccer skill. Let me do that. I don't know okay. that. Peter just whispered in my ear that in the Inside Out 2 movie, which we saw yesterday on Father's Day, uh, Riley was at a soccer camp as well. No, hockey, hockey camp, hockey. hockey camp. So the soccer camp takes place uh, every day this week and it's from nine to 12 at Tilaklin Air Force Base. So um, Adam and I bought some comfortable chairs so I can sit in and enjoy the camp. Uh, I packed a lunch this morning for the kiddos. But since you have to share with us. No, I have a few snacks for myself. Um, I no, made myself a, veg no, a vegetable. No, you're gonna have to share the chairs with us. Oh, no, we're you- We're gonna have to sit on- You guys are not gonna be, you guys are not gonna be doing much sitting at all. You're gonna be out there having a lot of fun with the soccer ball. We got up very early this morning around 4.30 and started a lot of work that I needed to get done and I didn't get done over the weekend because we were just having too much fun and taking care of other things uh, during the Father's Day weekend. So I got that done and um, I also packed a lunch for the kiddos because soccer camp doesn't end until 12. So I wanted to make sure that their bellies are going to be full for lunch. We do have a little bit of homeschool to do today. Uh, some things that I definitely want to get done before we enjoy the rest of the week because Adam is taking the rest of the week off and that hardly ever happens. I don't know what we're gonna be doing just yet. I know he wants to do a little bit of relaxing time. He's been working very, very hard. So um, just a lot of family time, a lot of fun together, right? Are you excited for daddy to be off? <laughs> but we have to leave in 20 minutes and I hope the traffic is not so bad. Here in San Antonio, you just never know what it's gonna look like. Um, I gotta get everything packed up. I gotta get water jugs into the car. We did get a Brio. We got this from Amazon. I'll link it. You're crazy. You have so much energy. You need to get it out on the soccer field. Um, but Peter's jumping around like crazy. Uh, we got the Brio, which uh, we use the Primo water jugs. And I get the Primo water jugs at Walmart. <laughs> and uh, there's also a refillable station on base. So I'm gonna bring those along. We go through about a five gallon water jug every day and a half. I'm gonna tickle you, but I'll post it down below. It's, a, it's been working pretty good. But I gotta get these kids all ready, everything in the car. We have 20 minutes, 20 minutes. They're out there stretching, getting ready for their practice. They look like they're having a really good time. It's toe tap time. Kids are so new to this. It's kind of fun watching them figure it out. But this is uh, giving us a lot of good ideas for what we can do at home if they really enjoy the sport.
It's day two. You guys are in the gym today because it started raining. Peter, are you excited to get started? All right, why don't you go over there with everybody else? Yeah, so while you guys work out here in the gym, Mommy and Daddy are going to go to the gym too. And we'll be back soon to pick you up. Okay? I thought you were going to take a, a walk. We might do that too. Alright, so you guys listen to your coach, okay? Alright, Peter? Not so much daydreaming, more listening. And Jane's doing pretty good. She's, she's already out there trying to help. I'm not going to get dirty. Yeah, you, yeah, you're going to be a little bit more clean when you get home. All right, guys, we are childless. This hasn't happened in a very long time, like a year and a half was the last time we were actually childless. <laughs> it's been a long time. Um, so the kids are at soccer camp. Adam has the rest of the week off and it's super exciting. He gets to see the kids at soccer camp for a little bit. <laughs> and then him and I have some time to enjoy because the kids are there for some time. Uh, what we're gonna end up doing is going to one of the gyms here at Lackland and to see if we can get uh, some equipment to play racquetball. Maybe racquetball. We'll Maybe, see. we're gonna see if we're able to do that. If not, there's a great trail here on base. We're gonna go for a nice walk, maybe a light run. It's perfect weather. The sun is covered by the clouds and the temperature is not that bad. It's like 83 right now. So we're gonna get our alone time today, which is a blessing. It's been a very, very long time since Adam and I have been able to enjoy some him and I time without the kiddos. We got a little distracted. We stopped at Outdoor Rec here at Lachlan. They have a whole bunch of stuff that you guys can rent. Um, I'll show you a clip of what I filmed while we were in there really quick. Oh, that's cool. Baseball equipment. Yeah, a lot of corn holes. I'll have to see what the cost is. Basketball? Oh. That would be fun for like a birthday party. Look at all the sleeping bags you could rent. Camping equipment. Last camping. Oh, awesome. Skiing, water skiing, camping. You can put that down. We should have came here during our last camping trip. Coolers. Cotton candy machine over there, popcorn. A lot of stuff that you could rent. What is that? That stuff. Oh, blowers. Blowers, tree trimmers. Tree trimmers. Yeah. If you're catering, all this stuff. Tents. A lot of stuff you could rent here. Um, I actually drove Adam's truck here. I need to get used to driving it just in case he needs to take my car from time to time. And it's a very comfortable ride, but we're gonna go on into the racquetball courts and see if there's an opening. I wanna get one of these at home, a row machine. Even though you can easily just sit on the ground and just kind of simulate a row. Yes, you can. I do that with my Pilates from time to time. But here's another racquetball court. You want to go try to find some, uh, and yeah, balls. let's do it. This is the aerobics room here at Gillum. From the 70s. Adam says it's from the seventies. It's all outdated. Oh, they have step. Look at this. You guys know I love my step. So I can get some of my girlfriends here. We could do a step class. Some more machines here, a row. I wonder if they had let us bring our kids and we'll let the kids sit back here on their tablets or something. Look at that. Ooh, that's hard. I've never punched before. That's not true. I don't punch you. <laughs> I, I prefer to use the bag instead of <laughs> Yeah, this is nice. These are nice uh, weights, Adam. 
we can bring our uh, YouTube videos here and use the weights here. A little bit of a different scene. You could roll after your workout with those rollers. Get some balance in. You have some weight balls here. I love doing the rope. Yeah. And you can watch yourself doing it. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got it. We got to get the equipment for the racquetball. The kids are gonna get out soon. We got a room. Definitely echoes in here. They're gonna give you equipment for free at the front desk. We have our goggles, ball, and rackets. Adam went into the car to get his water. I'm gonna do some practicing. It's been a long time since I played racquetball. All right, so. wrapped up racquetball it was so much fun we were in there for about 30 minutes and decided to come out here at the trail oh there's a cardinal it just flew by it's on the tree over there did you see it yeah i saw him over here oh there's crickets everywhere we saw a cricket coming out here on the fence crickets out here in texas are massive and uh, they've been jumping around on the ground as we're walking very loud out here but we're gonna take a Nice little stroll. We have about 40 more minutes before we want to head on back to soccer camp and watch the kids a little bit more. So, so far it's been a great time with just Adam and I enjoying time together, finally. I don't know if you guys can see it. They're just, all these grasshoppers are just popping up everywhere. There's a whole bunch of them, and as we come, they're just flying up. Yeah, we'll go a little bit slower. You see them? Oh, they stopped, because we stopped. Where? Oh, right on the ground. I bet he's going to jump up. Yep, there he goes. The kids would have fun with this. Peter would be running through them. Oh, yeah. Jane giggling. Oh, they're all different colors. There's green and yellow. Green and yellow. Tan. <laughs> You can still hear them. Actually, those aren't grasshoppers or crickets. They're like a Texas insect that is in the trees. I don't remember what they're called. The kids held one last year at a homeschool event we went to. But there's these little insects and the sound comes from, I think their wings clicking while they're up there. Does it Your nose bled? Oh yeah, I could see the blood. Oh my gosh. You guys have fun on your second yeah. day now tomorrow you guys do not have soccer camp because it's uh june 19th it's, the, it's, it's a holiday the, yeah but you'll be back thursday and friday and we're gonna go see a movie tomorrow, tomorrow. What, what yeah movie? we gotta watch out for oh caterpillar yeah is that a is that a mm, i don't think so we're gonna go see trolls but guess what mommy did while you guys were in there. I drove daddy's truck. What? Yeah, I drove daddy's truck and is it in one piece? Does it look like it's in one piece? Yeah. Did I break it? No. 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 See, I told you I could do it. Peter got a bloody nose during the camp. So we gotta clean him up. Got hit by the ball in the nose. What movie are we seeing today? Trolls. Trolls. I think it's Trolls 2, right? Yeah. Have you seen this one before? 
No. Hi. Got our seats. It's a pretty big theater. Here at Santico's. Yeah, a lot of people showed up today because it's a holiday, right? Yeah. What'd you guys think of the movie? Good. It was super cute. They did, uh, it was Trolls, so they had the boy bands and all the colors. Definitely check it out if you guys have. I like the songs. You like the songs? Me too. And I was singing all of them. <laughs> Jane was dancing and singing like crazy. She actually got up a few times and started dancing to the music. The music was fantastic. Really enjoyed that movie. Um, but with Justin Timberlake. With Justin Timberlake and Anna Kendrick. I think her name is, and she's she's great. She's in a lot of really good movies. Um, but we're gonna do something that we didn't expect to do right now. We're gonna be going vehicle shopping. <laughs> so we're gonna vehicle see shopping. we're gonna see what we can find. Um, Mama vehicle needs a new car. All right, this is the first one that we're looking at. It's a trade-in. We're not looking to get a brand new car. We have a lot of Highlanders here. I used to have a Highlander. Yep. Yes, yes, Mommy can't get these. Why can't? Because they're serious. They're a little bit lower. Yeah. There's some they're rads here. Cars. These are people's cars. What I really want is a forerunner. So now we're looking at the second vehicle. It's a Highlander. Wait, what? Leather seats, what? nice compartments. A what? sunroof. Yeah, what let's is? put that back. The kids are super excited to just explore. All right, I think we found a winner. This is a Highlander, all-wheel drive. Has a leather interior, all black, sunroof, nice dash. It's actually really all that we wanted. It has captain seats. So I'm gonna take it for a spin. Hopefully they're not holding it for somebody else. We have been waiting here what seems like forever. They are uh, taking a look at it. <laughs> He's trying to make us laugh right now. They're taking a look at my current vehicle, seeing what it's worth so we could trade it in. And then they're fixing a tire on the new vehicle because there was a nail. <laughs> that is Adam's nose. And uh, they're gonna fix it before we take it because they will not let you take a Toyota vehicle that is it safe to drive? <laughs> we have to say goodbye. Bye car. Bye car. We got to get everything out of it. Do you guys want to start in the back? It's raining pretty bad today. We got to get all your stuff out of the car. Yep. Yeah. I know. That's okay. I want you guys to, to start getting in the back and look around. Make sure you guys get everything out. A lot of vlogs in this car. Last one, guys. Bye. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna leave the paper mat there for now, I guess. Yeah, it's all raining and not the best day to buy a car, but what do you guys think? Good, yeah. but I missed the other car. I know, we gotta say bye-bye. I want to take a picture. I did. It's oh, okay. Jane, it's okay. It's not she, she was a good car. She was a good car. Very good, good car. car. She drove well. She traveled across country with us. She held our whole family and kept us safe. She was a good, good, good car. But now it's time to, to move on. Get used to something new. It's okay. It's okay. We, that's life. We're going to have new vehicles throughout our years. You know how many cars you guys have been through? You, we had the, my goodness, we had the RAV. Daddy had the Tacoma. And then we had the Traverse. And then we got the Venza. Yeah, we had the Venza. And then we had the Highlander. And then now mommy's getting another Highlander, right? Yeah. Okay, and then daddy has the Tundra. We've gone through a lot of cars. Can you open the sunroof? You want to see the sunroof? Yeah. Does everybody else want to see the sunroof? Woo! <laughs> rainy day! I got a sunroof again. It's been a while. <laughs> okay. Smiles? Jake is crying. Happy smiles? Yeah. It's okay. 
We'll have a lot of new adventures on this in this car, okay? Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, guys. Bye. Bye, bye car. It's all, it's all fuzzy. All right. Our first time in our new Highlander. I do not expect wheel this. Against the breeze. <laughs> I've been telling Adam, Adam, the traverse is acting a little funny. Oh my god, I ain't going out of your shoes! We don't deserve to live like them! No, he's saying that because the air conditioner stopped working about two weeks ago. Oh it, it would god. work from time to time. Oh. I was complaining to Adam, the car, the traverse, is not running as it used to. The air conditioner keeps on deciding if it's gonna work or not, which it's usually it's not working. Pull our windows down every it's time so because, hot. Because we were so hot and we... I know. Out here in San Antonio, it gets so hot so during hot the summer and, and we were like baking. <laughs> <laughs> so Adam went and uh, took it in and uh, we learned that, hey, this car is it's gonna need some work and uh, it's gonna be very, very expensive to fix everything. So that's when we decided, okay, Time to get me another new car. It's not completely brand new, it's only a year old, um, but we got a pretty good deal. And I think we got super lucky. We got all the bells and whist whistles. We got the bucket seats, which is something that I absolutely wanted. Uh, we used to have that in our old Highlander as well. We, we got, got the third the row. And the cup holders. <laughs> the kids are excited, they have cup holders. Um, I got the black interior, which yeah, I wanted and leather seats. I have the sunroof and the nice dash. We have a cell phone charger underneath the dash, which is super cool. Oh, what is that yellow and, package? Oh, that is our extra key. Oh, but what? this car is pretty, pretty loaded and for a very, very it's good like price. One. So I'm really excited. I know, Jane's not crying anymore. She's over the, the traverse, so. We're so hungry. We've been here pretty much all day. We went to the movie, which is a free movie that Santikos is putting on during the summer. They Trolls, have a, a new Trolls, movie every Trolls. every summer. Trolls, Trolls is very, very cute. And then we came right over here to the dealership. I'm not thinking that we were gonna spend absolutely all day there. I don't even know, it's probably seven. So we were there for seven and a half hours maybe. And we are starving. Adam and I had toast this morning and a tad bit of popcorn, and I think that's pretty much it. Rice cake. He had a rice cake and I had a almond bar. It is Thursday, it is day four of this week. We just dropped the kiddos off at soccer camp, and it has been quite the week. Not at all what we expected it to turn out to be. Um, kids are excited for soccer, and they're really sad that tomorrow's the last day. Uh, we are actually gonna go check out a museum here at Lachlan Air Force Base. It is called the Security Forces Museum. It's something we've been wanting to do for some time, but we just haven't done it. And mainly because we know the kids are gonna be very bored in the museum, but Adam and I really want to take in all the information. And the reason is because we started out our Air Force career in Security Forces. And uh, Adam went off to do a lot of different other things after his time in Security Forces and I went to uh, do uh, some investigation work in OSI, so Air Force Office of Special Investigations, which I absolutely loved. I was so much fun. And if you guys are interested in doing that, if you're young and you wanna join the Air Force and get into um, law enforcement or investigations, it is a great route to start at and uh, really get your feet wet in that career field. Um, but we're gonna go check out that museum. I will show you a few snippets of the museum in this vlog, but I will have another vlog coming out soon that will give you more details and more of what we see in the museum. So you guys are gonna have to come back and check that out. I know this vlog is already getting kind of long because we're showing you um, a week in our life, a very hectic week in our life. So this is a two-level museum, self-guided. Army Air Corp, military police. Looks like very thick material. I guess you could say it's kind of like what we wear today or what I used to wear since I'm not in anymore. You have the old weapons. They told us right right off the bat. They're not guns, they're weapons. 
when I was in, I carried the uh, M16, M4, M9 grenade launcher and just to give you a little bit of background on myself, my first duty station was at Herbert Field, Florida, which I absolutely loved. They quickly sent me to Qatar for my first deployment. And then after I got back, they sent me to Germany. And then Germany, they sent me on two deployments to United Arab Emirates, South Afra. And these were security police uniforms in the 1970s. I used to have a jacket kind of like that. Received it in basic. So when Adam and I joined, we were in um, these uniforms. BDUs, yeah, they were so comfortable. And then, so we were in the BDUs in this uniform. And I don't think I ever bought a new uniform until they made us get these uniforms, which were absolutely, they're horrible. If you were in hot weather, it, we were just baking. They're very thick. They didn't keep them very long before they moved to, what do you wear right now, Adam? OCPs. OCPs, which I do like those. Those are very nice uniforms. But the BDUs were very, very comfortable and very forgiving. And then over here they have the desert uniforms. We were issued these every time we deployed, so I had quite a bit of them. And those were pretty comfortable as well. It would get so hot out there that you would actually sweat right through your uniform. And then in my hat, I would make a little dash for every day that passed, counting down my days out there. I still have that hat tucked away somewhere. This wall is honoring women in service in security forces. Um, A1C Jacobson was the first female to be killed in action. She was assigned to Goodfellow Air Force Base at the time. Yeah. These are some of the uniforms that women have worn over the years. This is the current that I wore as well. Brazards. <laughs> so when Adam and I were in, ours looked like that. No? It looked like that. That's right, Oh, oh, you mean with the star, but it looked very stiff like this one. Oh, okay. Well, mine looks like that, but with the star. <laughs> yeah, I had the, I think that one when I was deployed. We never wore the band. No, but it's like the 70s. 70s. I don't even know what that is for. Or how they would wear that. But we, we wore one that looked like these two, and then that one right there. I think I still have them. And then these are the um, beret, officer berets. You could see how they get kind of dirty. Mine's pretty dirty, but ours looked like this one here. And when you get it, it's not formed at all. So what you have to do is get a razor and get it wet and you have to shave it and mold it to your head while it's wet. And eventually it'll just get molded to your head and fit really well. So getting a new beret kind of sucked because you had to go through the process again. Now, when you go to tech school, you go to tech school here at Lackland Air Force Base. So getting out of basic, we just basically got on the bus for two minutes and drove down the street. Uh, Camp Bullis is one of the training locations that we frequented out here in uh, San Antonio. And that's where we would do a lot of our field work. You can see face paint, which is definitely what we did obstacle courses. We did a lot of training at Camp Bullis. Over here is the badges over the years. 
I had no idea that they changed so much. I'm doing a quick glance, ours looks very much like this one here. And then we wore this on our BDUs. And then I think this one on our blues, I don't know, I'd have to double check my blues, which are hanging up in my closet. I'm curious if I could fit in them. But these are old badges over the years. It actually had the base on them. Ours didn't have that at all. It was just very generic, but it had your number on them. And you only wore them on your blues. Do you have some friends that are military working dogs? That's something that you could uh, move on to once you get into security forces. And this is what they train the dogs in, the suit here. And uh, from time to time, if the military working dog handler needed somebody to help with training, uh, they would bring out the suit for one of us to wear, or we would put on like this on our arm, or there's something here. That doesn't look very familiar, but this right here, we would just put on our arm and the handler would tell them what to do. And kind of like what you see in this picture right there, and uh, the dog would come up and attack your arm, but only bite this on your arm and try to get you down. So that was kind of fun to do from time to time. See this picture here when we were deployed? I wouldn't say that our deployment locations always looked like this, but we definitely lived in tents that kind of looked like what you see here. Um, I don't remember too many crazy wires, like you're in a concentration camp kind of thing, but uh, it kind of did in a way look like this. We had the guard towers, which is where Adam and I would spend many, many hours, um, but we weren't just in the towers all the time. There was a lot of different jobs that we were doing while we were deployed. Often uh, we would be <clears throat> assigned to uh, a patrol, so we would drive uh, the Humvees, and uh, since I was um, the machine gunner, it, they, they put me up there in the turret because I was shorter, so it'd be easier to, for me to get down, but I would uh, have to mount my gun or weapon, and uh, you know, there was like a turret, so you would spin, but there was times where I would have to drive, so it really depended on the day. Every day you were... Um, assigned to a different post at your home duty station or even when you're deployed. That's pretty much all that is here in the museum. Um, like I said, it's much bigger than I expected. It's definitely something that Adam and I look back on fondly as our time in the Air Force. It was um, sometimes hard work and sometimes very boring and sometimes very rewarding. So I don't regret it at all. Very happy that I was able to serve as a security forces member and then go on to do some really cool stuff in OSI and Adam's doing some really cool stuff even now in the Air Force. Um, joining the Air Force in all, just being part of it and doing so many different things has been such a great honor and it's one of the highlights that Adam and I continue to look back on and be so grateful that we had an opportunity to be part of it. And we're still doing it. We're still a military family and it's been a great ride. So guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, do so so you guys could come along with us on all our adventures. We do quite a bit and we wanna bring you guys along for it all, but we have to go get our kiddos at a soccer camp. <laughs>
guys, we are home. We've actually been home for some time now. Um, I'm in the garage about to do my second workout. Adam and I did our first workout when we were at Lackland right after my eye appointment and while the kids were in soccer camp. And uh, we were walking around the trail, or not the trail, the uh, um, Warhawk uh, running track. So we did get a good workout there and it started raining on us and then we went over the over to the overhang and stretched a little bit but i gotta do a little bit of a strength workout tonight we're going to be making some shrimp tacos adam is going to making make a coleslaw to put in the tacos so it's going to be delicious i have bella here my little workout buddy she likes to sit in here and chase shadows while i work out or just lounge over here on the on the ground and I have to move around her and move her sometimes, but she is my workout buddy for sure. But guys, uh, that was a week in our life, a very hectic week full of a lot of crazy surprises that I did not expect. Didn't expect to have to go out and buy a car. Didn't expect that Adam would be off. I expected that he would be working all week, so he surprised us with that. Um, but it was a very, very strange week in our life. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog coming along with us. All right, guys, and with that, before you leave, if you are new here, go down below, hit that subscribe button, come along with us on all our adventures. We like to get out there, do some fun stuff, and we enjoy bringing you guys along for it all. Oh, it is hot out here. It's about 95 degrees out here. And I'm going to be opening up that garage door in a moment to get some light in here while I work out. Um, so I'm going to get to it. Again, hit that subscribe button. Come along with us. Thank you so much for tagging along this week. Crazy, crazy week. And I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day, night, whatever, whatever it may be for you. Bye-bye. This time tomorrow we'll be on the road. With you, the sunnier there you go. Oh my god, it's good. Yeah. 1,000. We actually did this one really quick. How many days? Four days. Four days? Well, about a week. Four days? About a week, and we finally got it done. Let's go adventure in the deep blue sea. Home is with you wherever that may Home is with you wherever that